Hey, welcome as we're out walking today in the countryside. It's been a beautiful day. Then it's been pouring down rain here lately. And I mean, it's just been pouring, but the rain has slacked up. So we're out doing a little walking. And um, I just had something I wanted to share today. And this is our uh, video that we're doing for the early part of the week. And it's really something that the Lord laid upon my heart that I think he wanted me to share for us to do. And I think it will be good for all of us to do it. And it's a little challenge. It's a seven day challenge. What this challenge is, is as far as um, thanking God and really paying attention to all of the little things. Have you ever heard the old saying, I know it's you hear it sometimes here in the States, that they didn't see the forest for the trees. Basically, that saying is saying that maybe you're overlooking the main thing because you're too concentrated or on other, other things that's going on, and you're overlooking the main thing. Well, I think a lot of times when we pray, we thank God sort of like that. We, we really thank Him, generally speaking, without really thinking about all the little things that God does. All the, all the things that God does for us as a whole. And it just seemed like God gave me this to do, and I want you to do it. I, I'm asking you to do it, and mainly this is for, uh, I don't care if you're, if you're a long-time Christian. I don't care if you've been following Christ for a short period of time. I don't care if you've recently gave your heart to Christ. I don't care if you've not ever really given your heart to Christ, but you just want to play. Because you know what the Bible says, everything that hath breath, praise the Lord. So anybody can do this, okay? But here's what I want us to do. Each and every day, well, not each and every day, this is a seven-day challenge for the next seven days. When you get up of a morning, of course, when you go to pray, this is before you pray. This is just something I want you to do on your own time. I want you to write down five things, five things that you're thankful for. Now, we all know about our family. So your husband or wife and children, they're a given. So we all know that. We thank God for that every day. All of us do, I'm sure. So this is going to be different. Not the not the children, not the family, not the wife or the husband. This is other things. God blesses you with five different things each day. And here's the thing. The second day, it's got to be five different things than the day before. And the third day, it's got to be five different things than the ten things the day before. So when you get done after a week's time, you're going to have 35 different things that God has blessed you with or that you're thankful for. Now, it might be something like, you know, maybe you're sitting outside right near hearing the birds singing and you want to make, maybe you want to make that one of them for the birds that sing. Maybe, maybe you want to, you want to thank God for the food that's on your table. Maybe you want to thank God for, um, I don't know, maybe you've got a local store that's near your home that you can travel to real quick to get something. Maybe you want to write that down for a, a store close by. You see what I'm saying? Now, you can use those if you want to, but I want you to you come up with things on your own. Five different things for the next seven days. Little things. Again, like I just said, you heard it just then. Maybe you want to use the bird singing. Maybe you want to use the store nearby. Maybe you want to use electricity to cool your home in the summertime. Now you say, oh, you've already given me three things or four things. Listen, there's a lot of things we've got to thank God for. So I think this will help in our relationship with God. And, if God, you know, because one thing it's going to do is it's going to help us to see all of these things. See, anytime we pray, a lot of times, you know what we do when we pray? We, we pray and we say, God, I thank you for everything. And then amen. And then we go on about our daily activities. I mean, don't get me wrong. It's good to thank God and we can thank God for everything. But this will be just a little something to where it might slow us down just a little bit. And look at some of the finer points some of the other things, you know, things that maybe we don't stop and thank God for or take the time to thank God for. But this way, what we're going to do, I guess I could walk a little bit while I talk, but this way what we're going to do is we're going to be thanking God 
for these little individual things and and maybe it'll be more or less for you to see hey God does so much for me. There are so many things that God has blessed me with to thank him for. And then you can say, thank you, Lord, for everything. But this might, this might really make it seem a little bit more real. And today, when I was praying, it just seemed like God laid that upon my heart to have us do this. So I really think God wants us to do it. And I think it'll help you, maybe draw you a little closer to God and help you see just a little bit more about what he does for you. We've got a very special video coming up. Hopefully, it'll be the second video this week, later on in the week. If you hit the bell, you'll know as soon as we upload it. If you haven't subscribed to this channel, I'd appreciate it if you'd hit the subscribe button because we all want to grow in Christ together. These are trying times in which we live, but you know what? God is still real, and we're serving the God that we read about in the Bible. He's still the God that's on the throne today. So please like, subscribe to this channel, and leave a comment below. And do this game for me today. And it's not anything you have to report back on. You don't have to put it in the description box below what you're going to thank God for. You don't have to do any of that. It's just a little something. When you get done, after a week's time, you're going to have a piece of paper with seven days and five different things each day down on it. It's just between you and God and nobody else. Hope you enjoyed this video. Please like, subscribe. Remember, God loves you. God bless you. We'll catch you on the next video.